Good morning, gang. How are we doing? I uh, hope you're doing well. This is a new year, and I wanted to start off with uh, getting back on to making the, the videos and putting them on for you. And um, this is one that I wanted to share with you of uh, experience. As you can see, I still have my, my trucker jacket on. Uh, it was cold out. Uh, my wife and I were doing our morning walk, and we try to do it every morning. Uh, what this is, this is a walk that we have uh, where her and I connect uh, with each other, but also connecting with God and having our prayer times. We kind of call it a prayer walk. And kind of go through, you know, I think being thankful for all the things that God has blessed us with and to help us, help guide us in um, the things that uh, He would want us to do. And just kind of refocus on what's important and, you know, clear some things out and things of this nature. So, you know, we do our little walk and um, so just got, out, got off the walk. And um, some of the things that we were talking about were, um, that we want to do for this year for both of us, and this is a part of uh, my journey, as I could say personally, is having this be the year of letting go. Okay, letting go of fear, letting go of doubt, letting go of those things that hold you back from reaching your goals. Okay, many times you're going to be having all those doubts, all those fears, all those thoughts. So there's three things that I want you to focus on. Uh, for this year to start off with, and this is what we're going to be doing, and reminding each other to do. Uh, one, the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to realize that <clears throat> thoughts are the beginning of all creation. Everything that you see around you, everything uh, here, even the computer, started off with a thought. Okay, so as you think, this is from uh, um, uh, Neil Donald Walsh, uh, Conversation with God, everything starts with a thought, every, every creation. So, as you think, you create it. So it can go, you know, positive or it can go negative. It's up to you how you want to see it, how you want to focus on it. And so if you have a dream, if you have something that you've always wanted to do, we're working on getting our, our workshops out there, the No Energy Vampires workshops, uh, trying to get, uh, you know, speaking engagements, things like this, you know, for myself to really get the message out, for people to really take care of themselves in all different ways. And um, so we have doubts too. They start coming in. It's like, wait a minute, are you sure about this? I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, where's the money going to come from? How is this going to happen? You know what? The thing that we started saying and started thinking about too, and this is, uh, I believe we read it when we were reading uh, Jesus Calling. This is a devotional that we read in the, every morning. And um, it's, I trust Jesus. Boom. Okay? I trust you, Jesus. Boom. That's for us the things that is important to remind us, to get our minds reset onto the things that are most important. Instead of focusing on the fear, because the more you focus on the fear, the more energy you give it. Okay? If you focus on worrying about, uh, law of attraction, basically what it is. As you focus on wanting more, guess what? The universe or God will give you more wanting. So you want to be thankful in everything that you, uh, that you have. And also the thankfulness, a prayer of thankfulness, is one that you know already that God has given you this, or the universe, or however you want to look at it. But for us, it's that you know God has this plan that is set up, and it's just a matter of us getting out of our own way, us being the ego, getting that out of the way, so that way, you know, uh, God's blessings can come through, so that we can help others. So <clears throat> the main thing I want you to remember is one that thoughts are the beginning of all creation. So be aware of the different negative thoughts that come into your mind. Could be a thought from somebody else that their fear and you don't want to take on their fears okay I always remember this too is that um, the fears and the worries of other people remind yourself this not my monkeys not my circus okay that's one of those quotes that we always say to each other not my monkey not my circus so I'm not gonna take on their monkeys and try to figure it out so that's the way that you separate it. I'll talk more about that later um, <clears throat> and uh, so the thoughts at the beginning of all creation recognize the negative thoughts as they come through um, and then come up with a mantra, come up with uh, something, a thought that can help you to recenter, refocus on the positive thought. Like I said, for us, I trust you, Jesus. Boom. I trust you, Jesus. Boom. You know, that's what we're trying to kind of shock yourself back into that positive mindset. So give this a try. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you like the, the, um, the, the message for today, then please uh, click and share. Uh, if you have any other questions that I can answer, I want to do more of these videos too uh, throughout this year. But right now, you know what? We're putting it out there. Wherever God takes it, He takes it. We're ready to flow, getting the fear out of the way. 
Let's go for it. Follow your dreams and let God infuse his energy into your heart's desires. God be with you and peace. Love you.